What is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Showcase channel. We have a very uh, special edition today of actually a Pokemon video. And you guys are probably uh, reading the title and uh, having a little bit of a intriguement going on, wow factor, but uh, but yes, these are these are Pokemon cards here. Lots of them. There is a full uh, binder worth, and it is uh, all different kinds. And I'll end up probably showing more. I don't know if you can see better, but uh, we've got all different kinds. I'm gonna switch over the camera here in just a few. But uh, yes, the title is correct. These were all free. Um. I pretty much got them uh, from my father. They were found in uh, basically old uh, apartment units that they uh, cleared out. And they do uh, demolition and construction business. And uh, this was left behind this this full binder here of cards. And it's not not one binder, but two binders. Now we are going to go through here today, uh, we are going to take all of these out. There is this binder, and then there is this binder right here. This one is actually in a zipper binder, and then the plastic one here. <coughs> so today is going to be a long, lengthy video. I'll try to see if I can do some edits and speed through some stuff, but uh, we are going to jump right into it. not going to name off, I'll try not to name off everything, but there is going to be some stuff in here and I've been holding on to these for a little while to just try and uh, <coughs> basically to try to find the right time to do this video. So the person who had these definitely, uh, yeah, and these are actually definitely originals here. So those are the 98 Game Freak. 1996, 1998, so there's going to be all different types and uh, years on this stuff. So this is a 2011 energy, this is a gym, uh, gym challenge, this is a series 2, and then we have an original 98 uh, energy. So everything is just kind of mixed in and intertwined, however I know um, either fast forward or stay tuned as I go because I have actually... I have only flipped through these pages, so the surprise factor is definitely still out there. I do know just from flipping through that there is a uh, base hollow Charizards and base hollow basically from generation one. And there's also EX full arts, Charizards and Megas and different things like that in the other zipper binder. So yeah, be sure and stick around for that. See, here we go right here. Wow, that's a boom right there. There is a first edition Jungle Snorlax non-holographic right there, original. So, this is definitely going to be a cool, awesome video, you know, for people to check out. There is a rare uh, fossil uh, Aerodactyl. And then... <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be trying to, uh, I'll probably end up doing it off camera, but uh, I'm going to try to put this, you know, I'm going to salvage probably the sleeves somehow, but some of them are pretty much toast. There's a Japanese rocket primate there. And this is all of, like generation one, generation two. This is all of, like the old school, like original stuff that everybody wants. For sure, so basically just yep, stay tuned, stick around. We've got a lot of pages here. I just wanted to be sure and get it all on, on camera. I'm sure there will be a lot of fast forwards. Here's a Japanese Destiny uh, Vaporeon, really nice uh, from the Destiny set, New Destiny. Yeah, that's page one down, so you can see how long it took just to do that. 
just to do that one single page. Here's the double white star neo. I'll definitely try to salvage the uh, the pages though, but as far as the grading and stuff like that goes, that will have to be done. Oh wow, that's a nice one there. That will definitely have to be done probably off camera going through and salvaging this stuff. Here is a real nice, uh, pretty good overall grade of a holographic uh, gym, uh, gym challenge, I think. Uh, Mewtwo holographic. That is a really sweet card, hollow, hollow there. And I'm, I think that's my. F I think that's the first hollow so far. First hollow, but not the first uh, rare. So I'm probably gonna put all the first edition rares and all the hollows in one stack there. So and that card was actually in the middle of like three, four cards. So. I don't know. Maybe we'll f maybe we'll get lucky and find a, a uh, nice first edition Charizard in here. Maybe. So I don't know, but definitely stay tuned because check all this out. You're gonna want to see everything. See here's some Neo Revelations all the way from Base Set Gen Two. Uh, I think this is a Neo Discovery. This is a Poliwag Neo Discovery. There's gonna be Japanese and uh, English stuff in here. So we just, I would just stay tuned, watch the whole thing, like it, comment it, whatever you guys want to do. I'm going to try to speed through it and uh, stay tuned for more stuff for sure because, well, I've never seen this ghastly before. Uh, stay tuned for more stuff. That's just a base fossil. I think all of the ghastlies I've seen have all been like this from the Generation 1. But this is, a, I didn't realize that the fossil, I guess, had a ghastly. Fossil set had a ghastly in it, too. Um, yeah, I do grade cards if the cards are rare enough and in, and in good condition. So, uh, if you haven't checked out some of my past Pokemon breaks or viewings, yeah, be sure and stay tuned for that. I had to uh, get hyped up for this break because of it's going to be so lengthy and so long but I definitely wanted to get all of it as much as I could on film for you guys to check it out um, and enjoy the experience with me Japanese Neo Discovery Neo Discovery and at least that it's not getting thrown away this binder actually got tossed from what I understand it got tossed in the dumpster. Um, somebody saw the Pokemon, I think, logo or something and grabbed it. I was not on the job site. Um, and my father said, whoa, wait a second. Put the brakes on there because uh, I've got some kids that will want this stuff. So my dad was overseeing the job. so. definitely got the uh, got the goods here so um, here is a nice artwork here Misty's Poly Wrath Japanese version not as uh, not as good but still very desirable card see here is also something here uh, from uh, the legend legendary collection 2002 legendary collection there's a nice uh, holographic there oops that was not the hollow that I dropped that was just a different uh, Japanese card it's Kabuto the holographic is a haunter which I never understood why they gave this uh, holographic but fossil uh, haunter holographic rare so three three rares, three holographic rares. One first edition. Here is the another holographic from Fossil Set. Holographic Ditto from Fossil Original. 
Neo Discovery of Duns Dunsparce. third page down. Definitely have to throw in some music with this video so it's not so boring. Because this is going to be a lot of uh, watching and waiting. Nice. Here we go. Check that out. Fossil holographic of Zapdos. Fossil hollow. Real nice. Anyways, I just got through going through some of my uh, booster packs that I have uh, held back for a rainy day for Pokemon stuff. <coughs> I got all them. S not all. Well, yeah, I got all of them sorted and placed in a in a booster box that I have. Uh, what is this? That I've had lying around. Here's a Skomore. Nice uh, Japanese Skomore from Neo Dis Revelations. Revelations, but there's no uh, there's no rarity mark on it. So I'm gonna put it with those. I don't know if it was just a Japanese set from that set or what. But anyways, there's no there's no uh, mark on it. Oh wow, that is sick. Yeah, they just like intertwined like all of this stuff. I don't know why. Here is a uh, Firo, Lieutenant Surge's Firo, Japanese uh, gym challenge. I think holographic. That is a sweet, sweet card. That is a real nice card. Yeah, that was just like in the mix of the... There wasn't even a Sparrow in front of that card. I was actually more excited about the, uh, about the binder, about the zip, the zip-up binder, but, uh... Wow, two holographics in that stack right there. Boom, boom. One from base set and one from fossil. A Muck and a Needle King. Wow, so this is a uh, gonna be awesome binder right here. Definitely glad that it was not thrown away. You know what I mean? Holy moly! Would you look at that? I know there's, I'm sure there's a bunch of people who would desire this card. It's not too good though on uh, grade wise. It's really scratched up, but uh, Dark Dragonite Legendary Collection. Card, holographic cards from that set and fetch a real nice premium. Yep. I think I pretty much have the whole legendary collection set also. I just need to go through and organize it and actually put it together. Wow, there you go. I wish that was a first edition. That would be really sweet. Uh, base set, uh, I think card number three of the set. No, number one, I think, of the set. Yeah, Alakazam holographic. I think it's card number one or card number three. I can't remember if they start off with the... Uh, I think it's actually the holographics that start off first. Let me know in the comment section which one it is because I have to re refresh my brain on that one. I think it is the holographic set because I think I did this set when I was a lot younger back in 98, I guess, or so. Yep, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, the yeah, because there here's a Lapras holographic, and that says card number ten, number ten out of one hundred two. There's a fossil uh, Pidgeot rare. Here's the Lapras holographic. Not not in too good a shape, so these cards were definitely not not in uh, well kept condition, if you know what I mean. This is actually upside down. This whole sleeve, or this whole, uh, <clears throat> this whole page is actually upside down from all the rest, so I have to flip it. 
around here. I'm just going to take them all out. I actually have a new binder also that uh, that came in um, today, I think, actually. And it's a lot more nicer than these. The sleeves and everything are a lot better. So You guys probably know the one I'm talking about. It's made by uh, Ultra Pro. Pokemon exclusive Ultra Pro binder. Oh, nice. The Neo Destiny of Fanpy right there. something different. There's a bunch of different stuff actually. Um, three rares in this one. We got Erica's Clefairy, Gym Heroes I think, um, non-holographic, holographic Japanese base set of the Clefairy. We got Bump Kaboo. From 2014, and then regular non holographic from Jungle of Wigglytuff. So only holographics and first edition rares are going to go in this uh, special stack over here that I've randomly made. Some sweet artwork here on this Bell Sprout. I have a lot of those pop up around me for uh, Pokemon Go. Put a click a like button if you uh, are a Pokemon Go fan. <laughs> and if you need, if if there's someone out there that is watching this video and it's been like within like six months or something, and you're seeing this video, you know, feel free to uh, message me about purchasing, uh, you know, one of these cards or something. I mean. I can give it to you for a cheap price if you're trying to complete like a set or something like that because like half half of these cards I don't really even need because I'm not really a set builder. I'm more of an individual uh, like card like I don't know collector I guess. I'm more I'm, I'm in it for more of the individual rare cards than than the actual sets and things like that. So obviously I probably could you know make the you know this team rocket set I probably could make that from the collection that I already have and the ones that I'm finding here today so you know that may be something in the future that I would do but if y'all are needing one or two of these for something you just can't seem to find it or you're trying to get one for real cheap for sure comment on it let me know what's going on with it how many you need or whatever I don't think I have anything listed right now in my uh, eBay but if you want to check out my about section on my channel that's where all of my eBay stuff is going to be listed up there's a legendary collection of Eevee so we're probably, I don't know, maybe halfway done with this with this one binder here. Doesn't look like the stacks are uh, really too big anymore. It's pretty much just straight. Uh, Double card, double cards on each side now. Pretty standard. There's a holographic here of a vile plume from the Team Rocket set. Surface actually looks pretty good on that one. That card will probably grade pretty good. Vile plume, Team Rocket, Japanese. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen uh, any of my Beckett grading Pokemon videos check that out I think I might only actually have one 
video for that, possibly two though. Hopefully there'll be some uh, really sweet promo cards in here or something. That would be awesome too. That's what I'm hoping for, but I'm telling you, I think the stuff, the better stuff is going to be in the Ziploc binder that's coming up right after this. going to be the same video. I'm already started on it, so I'm just going to keep on rolling rolling through. I should do a part one, part two, probably, but uh, we'll see how this one turns out. The Neo Revelations of Croconaw. Here is another uh, Lantern, and then here is a holographic of uh, Slow King Team Rocket Japanese uh, set. Very nice. So this person definitely uh, collected the Japanese sets from the Team Rocket. So good artwork in that set, though, too. Yeah, be sure and y'all click that like button or subscribe button for more Pokemon stuff coming up in the future because there's going to be some definitely some grading uh, videos too that we're going to pop up. Here's Misty Gym Heroes Holographic Trainer. Those actually are those are actually some of my favorite cards from that set because you could get the regular or the holographic version. Obviously the holographic is more rare, it's the one you wanted. I just felt like that was the best way to complete your set, was to have the holographic trainers. I think after flipping through here, I think there was a holographic Giovanni that was also in here as well. Yeah, it looks like I see the Giovanni there, it's a Japanese version. Computer City Gym. Vermilion City Gym. I think the rest of this stuff is just going to be trainers. Nope, there's some actual other cards coming up here. Most of this stuff is just trainers, or I'd be showing you guys what's going on with it. So, and fast forward it, it looks like this page is all going to be trainers. these cards out so I can see what exactly is all in this set. Alright, we're starting to get back into the actual cards again now. Our trainers, here is a holographic here. Giovanni, uh, Gym Challenge, I think Giovanni, holographic trainer, trainer uh, Japanese. Yeah, if you guys are out there still playing the Pokemon Go, let me know what you've got near you. I still play occasionally when I'm out and about. I used to go make actual errand runs specifically for Pokemon Go, but not anymore. I'm actually going to put this in the special stack too, even though it's not first edition, but we got the Sabrina non-holographic, and we got Lieutenant Surge holographic. Those trainers are actually pretty sweet looking. Just the cards itself are really nice to look. The artwork and stuff is really sweet. There's a Clefable. I think that one was a rare. No promo cards or anything yet. I think this person was just a standard collector, I think. This is a 
big stack of cards here. I think it might have been some that I just shoved in here. There's Koga and Blaine. Brock, Erica, Neo Destiny Trainer. So we got four trainers here. I think two Japanese. No. Blaine. Uh, Koga, first edition. Brock base and Erica base. So all no all non hollows. bones coming up here. There's a Caterpie. Kabuto from Neo Discovery. Wow, there we go. Uh, holographic Team Rocket set again. Going a lot, getting a lot of cards for the Team Rocket Japanese set there, holographic cards. I used to love this card right here. This card is sweet. Check this out. I'm going to leave this probably for a background, just a normal Pokeball from base set 2. I'm going to leave that one as far as the uh, background cards go. And then here is uh, Blaine. I used to love the artwork on that stuff. I liked him as a trainer because he, had, he was the one who had the Charizard and the Arcanine. If y'all are watching this one or coming to my channel for the first time, check out the uh, the Pokemon graded video that I have. You'll see the gym mints. I've got the gym mints of the cards that I just talked about with the uh, the Charizard and the Arcanine. They're both from the Japanese set, but still really, really beautiful cards. I pulled them straight out of packs, held on to them for a couple months. All right, one binder completely empty. Alright, now we get into the good stuff. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Golly, this is going to be so sweet. Y'all are going to freak out. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see see exactly what we've got. I have not even gone through any of this stuff and it looks like there is a bunch of card sleeves here too as well. So this is going to be sweet. Yep, there's a bunch of card sleeves here as well. So I'll definitely have to go through it. This binder is going to be basically trash. new binder that I have that's all going to go in is going to be this binder here. Pokemon card uh, trading game official binder ultra pro and it's the big boy. It's the 360 folder portfolio with the sleeves inside. If you haven't gotten one of these they are pretty nice. Of course I have not opened it but it comes with the uh, you know the <coughs> actual uh, pro grade like sleeve qualities and all that stuff so all right so pretty good stack so far of holographics and first edition rares and of course those couple non holographic trainers but here we go with the other stack this is just a stack of cards that was laying um, out that I had to grab basically and just kind of stick in the binder so I'm going to go through them real quick. There's a several holographics in here. There's a Muck Rare. There's a Base Set 2 Ninetales Holographic. First Edition Jungle Flareon English Rare Holographic. Poly Whirl, uh Base Set 2 uh, Poly Wrath Rare. And again, guys, don't let your jaws drop too far because, yes, this was all free. Gyarados base set 2 
Oh, nice. Here we go. Uh, this stuff. This stuff always fetches a pretty good premium too. Legendary collection. Volpix reverse hollow. And then we've got some stuff here. It looks like from 2009. We've got a Gengar from 2009 set. I'm not sure what set that is, but it's a. Looks like it says SP there in the corner. Gengar looks like just a uh, uncommon. All right, this is going to be newer stuff here. Stuff that I'm not really sure of or who it would be. So let me go through real quick and make sure they're all facing the right way. All right, we've got. Let's see. It looks like all these are going to be a set here, and they all evolve into this guy right here. So I'll just keep those three right on top of each other. This is going to be from 2014, and it's going to be a Gudra holographic, uh, holographic rare. So it looks like I got the three generations there, or the three evolved forms, basically of that. So. Gen 3, I think. This is a EX. And here is a. He has a Trico. I think it's a Gen, Gen 3 starter EX. It's from 03. Real nice card. And here is a Torterra holographic from 2010. So and all the, e, all the EX cards are all the E series cards. Definitely gonna set try to set those aside as well. So that set was a really sweet set. So reverse hollow. We got some more EX cards coming up. Here's a holographic of Tur Tur Turtwig. Oh, and it looks like that's a promo card. Nice. So that one's going to be good. Just making sure that I haven't missed any promo cards so far. Here is. Looks like another promo here of Torchic from 2004. Hollow promo of Torchic. And Inf Infernap. I don't know what sets from 2007. I'll have to look up the rarity. Uh, some of these Pokemon are, are too new of generation for me to remember uh, where they were from. So here's a nice EX card here, a non-holographic 2003 of Blaziken. All the EX cards and all of the promo cards in one stack here. Reverse Hollow of Marsh Marsh Tomp. see this right here or not but uh, this page is pretty uh, pretty good right here pretty juicy you got Clefable EX Electrode EX Ho Ho Legend Sneasel EX Latios Charizard EX Full Art Venusaur EX Full Art um, and I don't know how to say the top guy's name but the EX is there are all original so these are gonna be all pretty sweet cards right here these might be even going in for grading. I don't know. I have to look at everything and the condition. So there is the Venusaur EX Full Art, real nice card. Let's 
full art there too. Here is, wow, well, here we go. Here is a uh, basic Mew and a ears in a um, an e-reader Sneasel EX Reverse Hollow Sneasel EX card Reverse Hollow. Here is a Mew. Uh, looks like a Mew EX card. Real nice card there. All these cards are in kind of rough shape, so. Uh, Latios Reverse Hollow EX, another EX card. One Full Art and then uh, Charizard EX. Really nice cards there. I wish these were in better shape, but what can you do? I'll have to go through and actually look at them later, but here's a Lugia Legend. I don't even know what year these are from. 2010? Looks like 2010. Lugia Legend and a, and a ho, -Ho, or a ho, -Ho um, Legend card, uh, holographic. Oh, there we go. Here is a Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard from uh, the original set. It's actually got some gunk on it or something actually, but Mega Charizard and an Electrode uh, Reverse Hollow, or it looks like a Full Art Hollow. Electrode EX. And there's that Mega Charizard. Pretty nasty card there. Actually has something on the corner of it though, so I'm not gonna grade. I'm not gonna send that one in for grading. Here's the Clefable EX. Really nice cards here. There's some Eevees, Vaporeons. This looks like from 2013. Uncommons. I don't know what this set means with the with the logo there. It's not a rare, just an uncommon card. Nice. Here is an EX Jolteon. Rare E Series Reader. Flareon E Reader card. Reverse Hollow Flareon. Next up is Espeon. This is Umbreon Holographic from 2013. This is all the. This was a full EV page right here. This is, this is the Leafeon. Looks like a Leafeon Platinum Reverse Hollow, and a Leafeon uh, Holographic Regular. So there's the Platinum. This is Platinum there on the Reverse Hollow and the Regular Holographic for Leafeon. This one is Glaceon. And then here is Eevee again. It looks like a Dark Vaporeon as well. So this is some newer stuff, but not too of newer stuff. Looks like another promo card of a Sniffy. Snivy, I guess. Snivy promo, 2011. Holographic. Chestnut. 
holographic. This is uh, not a reverse hollow, but it has the the star print embedded all over. You can see there with the turn of the card, when the light hits it. The stars make it glitter. So neat card there. Another promo card of Tepig. Promo card of uh, Froki. So a lot of promo starters it looks like. Okay, getting close to being finished up. Still have the binder left though. The binder is going to have uh, for sure the base set uh, Charizard in it, holographic. It's uh, just a small binder. It's not as big as the first one. Uh, holographic here. Vilvion. And it looks like a whole bunch of unknowns. These looks like from Destiny. bunch of different unknown cards here coming up. We got a holographic unknown. Letter A it looks like. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. Uh, kind of like a reverse hollow, I guess. Unknown. Uh, World Championships Pokemon 2010. On the back side, and it's an unknown card. Pretty nice. And a Neo Destiny card. I'm going to check a couple of these on the back here just to make sure. None of those are actually like that too. And then we've got to end it all here. A uh, rare holographic here from Double White Star Neo Destiny holographic for Legator English. Real nice. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Here we go. With the last bit. Huge, huge stack so far. These are all holographics and rares, and first edition rares so far. All right, here we go. We've got the Bulbasaur to Venusaur set. But they messed up and did not have the regular version, so they just went with a Erica's Venusaur from Jim Heroes. The same thing, actually with this one it's going to be the original. It's going to be the Charmander and Charmeleon plus this nice, nice Charizard.
Nope, not super nice, but it's a base set Charizard. Unlimited. Real nice. Rare holographic card there. It looks like they just tried to do the whole set as best they could, as long as they got the Pokemon correct, I would guess. Because this one here is a base set 2 of Blastoise. So those are the main three starters there. Alright. Then we've got all of these guys here. End up taking all of these out. Caterpie, Metapod. Weedo, Kokuna, Deep Beedrill, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Pidgeot is non holographic. I'm going to try to keep the evolved cards together at least. Ekans, Arbuck. Pikachu to Raichu. It's the Jungle Pikachu with the Raichu of Generation 2 holographic. So the Jungle Pikachu with the Raichu of Generation 2. And none of these cards so far, I'll have to go back through them exactly and check, but from what I can tell, there's not really any cards that are, that are <coughs> in any of these cards that are worth the uh, grading to my knowledge so they're all the good to fair condition there's a Nitto Queen base set 2 holographic and then they have the Nitto King um, just by himself holographic uh, base set unlimited Two more holographics coming up here. It's going to be Clefairy and Clefable, both from base set two. And yes, I will be putting all these in sleeves for the Pokemon enthusiasts that are out there. Here's a Wiggly Tough by himself. For the uh, enthusiasts that are out there wondering what I'm going to just do, if they're going to be left here or not. We are uh, almost done. I'm getting this done as fast as I can. Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume, non holographic Vile Plume. No Venonat, but they have a Venomoth, base set 2. Diglett and Dotrio. So I think basically for the most part they had all of the Pokemon in the right sets. Here's a Meowth and a Persian. So these are all super original cards. Here's a Psyduck, Golduck, and Jungle, both from the same set. And there's definitely uh, no giveaway codes for this stuff here, so. Mankey and Primeape, Growlithe, and Arcanine, Polyrag by himself, Magnemite by himself, Marowak by herself, wow, here we go. Lots of good stuff coming up here. We've got Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. Holographic base set 2. Lots of holographics coming up here. There's a Machop, Machoke. 
and the light Machamp non-holographic Neo Destiny set. It's a Bell Sprout by herself, a Weeping Bell by herself, a Hitmo Chan, and a Kabutops. Both holographics, one from Fossil, one from Base Set 2, so that was really nice. Non first editions, real, real nice cards there. All right, here we go with Tentacruel. Oops, put this one back over here. Tentacruel by herself, Geodude. Uh, we've got a Graveler and Golem. Geodude, Graveler, Golem, Ponyta, and Rapidash. Magneton Holographic Base Set 2. Farfetched. The Duo. And the Trio. One base set two. The other is jungle. Uh, Seal and Misty's dugong. Almost finished here. Haunter by himself. Cloister by himself. Onyx. Drowsy. Hypno, Jungle, or uh, Fossil, I mean, sorry, Fossil Holographic. There's a Kingler. Voltorb, Electrode, Execute, Executor. Cubone by himself, Hitmonlee Holographic, and Lickitung. Hitmonlee is from Fossil. Hitmonlee Holographic. This is Coughing and Wheezing. Wheezing is from 2009 set. The coughing is from the Team Rocket set. Here is Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Here is a Chansey from 2004. Tangela. Kangaskhan Reverse Hollow. Horsey and Cedra. Oh wow, a bunch of nice stuff coming up here too. Sweet. So nothing crazy it looks like so far at all. Just pretty much, I mean it's not your normal stuff that you see every day now, but definitely excited to get all of this stuff situated, but it's not any like crazy rare Pokemon cards, it all adds up and it all has value. Base set to holographic. But from what I could tell, there's nothing even not even in good like crazy condition either, so Magmar, Electabuzz, and Jinx. Those are three like rares for Pokemon Go at least, so some pretty uncommon stuff there. Pinsir, Tauros Holographic, that's nice, from 2005 actually. Tauros Holographic from 2005. But there might be some cards though that I'm just skipping over that someone watching this video probably is like, whoa, you know, like that's just like a super rare card, I wish I had that in my set, you know, kind of thing. Here's another Ditto and another Lapras. I think I pulled these exact same cards from the other binder, actually, from the other set, so 
here's a nice promo card here. I've actually got another one of these already. Um, I think I might have two of these already, but a promo card of Eevee. One of like the first promo cards that they ever came out with. Promo holographic card of Eevee there. Um, Vaporeon Jungle. And we've got a jungle here of Jolteon. Uh, Vaporeon Non-Hollow, Jolteon Hollow. we got the last couple things coming up here. We've got a Porygon, an Ammonite, we've got Almastar. Almastar is a non-hollow. we got Kabuto, Aerodactyl. We have another jungle. Holographic Snorlax. Promo here of Articuno. Promo of Articuno, non holographic. Another jungle base of Snorlax. Here's a promo here of Zapdos. And then we've got the Moltres promo to go with it as well. So that's always good. Then we've got Jatini. Dragonair. So I've got Dratini, or Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. I've got an EX card here from 2012. Mewtwo EX non hollow. And the last bit of it is going to be a. Oh, nope, there's some stuff on the back page here. Holographic Meganum. From uh, Neo, I think Destiny, I guess, and an e-reader of Chikorita. So those are nice ones there. We've got some e-reader cards coming up here. Koalava, Typhlosion holographic card, really nice card there. Typhlosion double white star. Uh, E-Reader of Kulava, and then the Cyndaquil is going to be regular. Bayleaf E-Reader card, Reverse Hollow, it's going to be from O2, and then the Totodile. Alright, and the last four cards are not going to be nothing special at all. Alright, so we've got a Huho, a, a Sintret, uh, a Lady, Lady Ball, and a Lady In. So that is it. That is all of them. Oh my gosh. So, that is it. Everything. Two binders. Full stacks and stacks stacks of these pages full of cards. All of the cards are right here. You saw the stacks of them building up. I got them all out. They are all out in the open. Uh, we basically ended up with a huge stack of hollows. There are some hollows that I didn't put in there. We've got the Typhlosions, the, the Meganums, the three promos here of uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. They're all in terrible condition though, so they would not be gradable. Um, the card that probably has me the most intrigued out of all of it, obviously there's some promos in here, and there's some EX reverse hollows, so those would be good. Um, there's a Torchic and a Tuntwig, a Treco. Um, this card here though, from the World Championship of 2010, probably got me the most intrigued out of all of that. So, and it's probably not even, I'll have to really inspect it to see if I'm going to send it in. Um, but it's just an unknown, so I'll even, that'll be the one that I'll probably be most intrigued about. And even, uh, you know, I'm happy I got the base set Charizard, but it's not in uh, too great a shape. So the corners and stuff are sh kind of shiny with that silver, so. Wow. So, alright. Bunch of stuff. Lots of things I gotta go through and sort through now. 
but that was uh, this was a pretty good score. Um, unknown holographics. We got a bunch of reverse hollows here, but basically we got that platinum there, the Lefion, Umbreon, Flareon, Glafable EX Hollow, Mega Charizard, just like. Bukus of just crazy amounts of stuff. So I imagine, you know, probably uh, at least, you know, maybe two hundred dollars, maybe one fifty, maybe for everything here. I would think. But anyways, I'll have to go through it all and sort it. Maybe put it in uh, different binders and stuff like that. So I was definitely expecting more rarity things like that. But man, that was a long video. And if you watched it all the way through and did not fast forward or anything, really appreciate it. I'm going to sleep and I'll end up having to sort all this stuff tomorrow. So thanks for watching the Showcase channel today and stay tuned for more Pokemon stuff, especially the stuff that I send in for grading. Be sure and check that out. I'm tired. Thank you all. Um, that is going to be it and I will see you all next time here on the Showcase channel.